Sometimes on those rainy November days and like it just feels like it's been raining forever. You gotta break out your sun sign glasses. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Seriously, look at look how look how good this is. Look at this. Come on. Come on. Also totally helps with the rain not hitting me in the face. A couple things I want to talk about today. First one, just real quick, it's gear. A lot of people get very uncomfortable with how I treat my gear. I treat my gear better than some of the other people on YouTube, I, undoubtedly, but I do take it in the rain a lot. I'm not afraid to take it on the beach, in the sand, all the different things. And uh, that, that just comes from a commitment I made to myself when I got my first camera. I had spent so much money on it. I actually did like this 13 night sleep study in order to have enough money to buy it in the first place. The first time I went to the beach, I was like, I'm not gonna bring the camera. Like, I don't wanna get sand in the lens. Like, what if it messes it up? And I just was like, what on earth am I thinking? Why did I buy this thing if I'm not gonna use it to take pictures at the beach? At that point, I was like, I will never keep my camera in my bag because I'm afraid of it getting hurt. If it gets hurt, it was worth it. That's what a camera's for, is to capture this. Second thing I wanna talk about is water, but we'll get to that. Third thing I'm gonna talk about, but I'm gonna talk about it second, is... <laughs> I promise I'm gonna get one of those fenders at some point. The time, the time changed. I can't even see out of these, they're so... The time changed and um, the issue with when the time changes is like, you come outside, you go to work, and then like all of a sudden, boom, it's like it's nighttime. Like, just like that. And, and that's winter. I just need to tell you, I've been having so much fun. <laughs> I've just been having... Like, thank you. Again, just thank you. I can't really thank you enough. It's great being here. Okay, okay, water. But first, let me talk about like, knowing you need to do something. What you know you need to do versus what you want to do. This is something I have struggled with literally my entire life. Speaking of water, how you doing, puddle? Come on. I mean, you know I gotta mob this puddle. I'm already soaked. Not gonna lie, I was definitely already soaked, but I wasn't already that soaked. <laughs> I'd like to apologize if this whole thing is slightly out of focus. I'm almost wide open on this lens, and I'm at 3200 ISO. I never really cared about much grain. Like, I'm cool with a little bit of grain in my shots, but uh, focus, that's, you know, focus is something you always wanna, you wanna hit focus. That's pretty. You know what I realized? I talk this big game about vlogging in public, but I never go to the most populated area in Harrisburg to actually vlog in public, so I'm gonna go do that right now. I, I actually know one way to combat this, doing what you need to do instead of doing what you wanna do. Here's the tip. I got caught up for most of my life thinking, trying to convince myself you gotta do what you need to do, you gotta do what you need to do first. Like swallow the frog, that sort of concept. I don't actually think that works best for me. I think it works best for me to give myself a limited amount of time to crush what I want to do first and then knowing as soon as that time's over then I'm gonna do what I need to do. I would love to know if you have a tip. How do you get the stuff that you know you need to do done? Do you do what you want to do first? Do you do what you want to do second? Is there Are there more tips? Could someone write an essay on this in the comments? That'd be fantastic. All right, let's do this thing. Just want you to know, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for being here. If this is the first video you've seen of me, or the third, or even the fifth, and you haven't smashed that subscribe button yet, I would really appreciate it. Come back, watch some more videos. I'm gonna try to, one of the things I know that I need to do is go back, title my past videos better, do descriptions better, do keywords better. I didn't know any of that stuff when I started, so I know I need to do all that stuff. I would really appreciate it if you came along for the journey. It's just gonna get better and better. Let's do this thing. Thanks so much. Hit like, leave a comment. Let me know how you do you. See ya. I completely almost forgot to tell you about the water. The, uh, that, none of that water B-roll would've made sense had I not told you about the water. That's crazy. Uh, my friend Cindy is doing a charity water campaign. I think it's just all of November, but it might be the whole way up until December 25th, Christmas. I don't know. So you might as well just give it November. She's raising $10,000. Would love it if you just would go mob that link. I'm gonna throw it right down there. Just like give whatever you can. Charity Water, I got to visit with them um, that same time that I interviewed Casey Neistat from across the street. 
<laughs> and it was a really cool trip, really cool organization. They do something cool where they have donors completely cover operational costs, like a specific set of donors. So every single gift that we give goes straight to the field. Check it out, Charity Water. Cindy, thanks for doing that. Water, it's really important and I love it, especially in the form of rain. All right, see you tomorrow. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm, I'm going to buy some new pants because I can't work like this. <laughs>